Uh, hey, are you looking tired, and are you tired of looking tired? Sick of being asked, hey, something wrong? What's wrong with those dark circles under your eyes? Well, tired-looking eyes, even after a full night's rest, is one of the most common complaints makeup artists and cosmetic surgeons are faced with. Most common do-it-yourself fix, you know, concealers, medical, as for, you know, medical treatment, to make a good decision, which is why you need to go to the cause. I don't know if that all made sense. But anyway, joining me now to help you decode what's wrong with your eyes is dermatologist Sandra Lee, Dr. Sandra Lee from Upland. Okay, so not all circles have the same cause. Yeah. The first one is just you have a darkening. You can have darkening under your eyes. Yeah, there's so many, there's actually four main causes for dark circles under the eyes. And so the first one we're going to talk about is having just a darker color under the eyes. And this happens more in darker complected people. Mm -hmm. There's really two main reasons. One may be that your skin's very thin and you can see the muscle under in her, in her case because she's young. She's not, she's not, doesn't have aging skin but her skin has is thin so you can see the muscle under it and that's what's giving her a discoloration also what can happen is if you have allergies if you rub your eyes a lot if you have a chronic um, uh, maybe um, your, okay. your you know that so your the eyes so you can do things like you can use a Zyrtec, like a, a antihistamine, to help if you have allergies. Oh, with the puffiness. Okay. And, and rubbing your eyes because it'll prevent you from rubbing your eyes okay. as much. And there are other things you can use: hyaluronic acid, topical. These are topical cosmetic kind of um, um, mm -hmm. um, ingredients that hyaluronic acid will help thicken up the area. But you can also, even at home, a potato might help, and that's pretty inexpensive. What are you you what can do, place you do this over that? the eyes because this has some bleaching properties itself, and it can also um, it also has alpha lipoic acid. And that can decrease inflammation and puffiness. How long do you so this do that? One. How long do you do where I do lie down often. and put the potato on my eyes? Right, maybe like a, an hour before dinner, then stick them in the oven, maybe, and then you can. Cook, and then you cook can eat them, them after they've yeah. been in here, so right? Have multiple uses. So, okay. so that's one. Number two is um, this this gentleman that we have a picture of actually has two of the um, the causes for under eye circles. Puffy. One would be purple. Oh. Actually, he has a purplish color there, and that's because his skin is thin, but he's a Caucasian. So you can see the blood vessels under there. You see the redness, and you I see have. a little vein, okay. right. vein under there. But he also obviously has a fat pocket there. Mm -hmm. So in, the, in his case, we have you can do two different things. If you have puffiness, you can try caffeine. You can even try a tea bag. You can try to place that over your eye. You can okay. try to get up a little earlier so that there's less swelling in the area. You can try preparation H. This has an ingredient in it that helps to constrict blood vessels. So so that your blood vessels are not as visible under your eyes. Just have a separate one if you use it for somewhere else on your body, obviously. Don't mix and match. Arnica Montana is a topical product too that's homeopathic, but we, we think that it may help to minimize bruising. And you can also camouflage. You can use uh, green offsets red color under your eyes and yellow offsets purple. But this guy also, he has a, we have an after uh, picture. Oh, show he that. had surgery. I actually did a lower eye uh, blepharoplasty where I removed the fat pockets. And then you also have to remind people you Boy, can he looks better. shrink you have, you know, the, the skin will wrinkle more after that because you're deflating a balloon, essentially. Well, you remove so skin too, don't you? Uh, no, actually, we don't remove skin. You oh. go from the inside of the eye. Okay. And actually, then we laser resurfaced the areas and we tightened it. Lastly, I had this beautiful woman that had came to see me and she complained of dark circles under her eyes, another reason. Uh -huh. And we can see on the left here, her before picture, she has what's called a tear trough depression. This is a new, uh, and, and the treatment tear that we're doing trough. now. Yes, she has a depression there and it creates a shadow. So it's more that because of the light hitting her, it makes her look like she has a dark circle, but she doesn't really have a fat pocket. She doesn't really have thin skin there. One of the new ways we're using to treat this, and this is a simple office procedure, is to use a filler, a hyaluronic acid filler. So What's in that this called? case, this is Restylane uh -huh. or Bellotero or Juvederm. These are the three main um, uh, Bellotero is the newest one, isn't it? That's the new one that just came out. It, yes. Does that make it better? No, n not better. It's just a, it's another competitor, which is kind of nice because hopefully it keeps the prices down. But this is actually injected deeply. It's injected along the orbital bone, and we are lifting that area up so that it's not as depressed so you don't get that shadow. Just, just out of curiosity, if you have that tear trough, but uh -huh. you also have thin skin, it's not going to help because you can still see the capillaries uh, under the thin yes. skin. See, that's why I'm saying there's different reasons. So you have to really know why you have dark circles to be able to treat it correctly. Not everybody has a tear trough depression. Okay. Not everybody has fat pockets. And so that's important because it's such a common thing that I hear in my office. And obviously different complaints. levels of cost as we move along there's until just, you get to the surgery. Yeah, well, yes. The surgery is probably the most expensive. So. All right. Dr. Lee, thank you very oh, much for that. welcome. The potatoes, I didn't know that. I heard about Ooh. the tea bags, but I didn't know the potatoes.